couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn White Rabbit, the classic Jefferson Airplane song. This is such a fun song, such a fun arrangement. Um, so first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, with chords, uh, with chords and tabs right here on the screen. Can you tell how excited I am? This is so much fun. Here it goes. It goes like this. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, of exotic uh, stuff going on here. So I'm gonna break everything down for you and explain uh, what's going on. Um, but um, the, the reason that I play it like this at the beginning, okay, the, the bass line, the... Okay, and not uh, the way that the bass player plays it, is that the only way to do it on the guitar is like this. Okay? You can do it like this. You can play the 4-4 on the D string and then play uh, really quick okay? line on 4 on the 5th string, but I don't think it sounds that good. Okay, Because this is not a bass guitar, it's a regular guitar. So uh, if you want a bassy sound, you need to add a little bit of harmony. So, okay? so this is how I play it. I put an F sharp five chord, two, four, four on strings, six, five, and four. Okay, and I play um, strings four and six, and then I play the four on the fourth again, and then I do an arpeggio, two, four, four on strings, six, five, four, um, and I do it staccato. I do it with short notes. I don't play, okay, I play, okay, I do, okay, and then I stop. Okay, very short notes. Okay, you just let go of the note. Okay, that's uh, that kind of maintains the same bass feel. Okay, instead of okay, instead of giving it a chord feel. Uh, so that's my interpretation. If you want to play the original, you play four four on the fourth, and then you find a way to do uh, four quick notes on the four on the fifth string. So okay, you can use two fingers, the thumb and a finger. Okay, or 
you can use the thumb and then two fingers and then the thumb again. Okay. Okay, but I don't like it. it. Sounds too thin in my opinion. I like this. Okay, so after you do the arpeggio, you play the four on the fifth again, and then you do it again. And then you do it twice more, but upper fret on G. Okay, so it's G5. And then you go back to F sharp and you start the solo. You play again the F sharp octave 2 and 4 on strings 6 and 4. You use your third finger, 4. 4 slide to 5 on the fifth string. And then 4 hammer on to 5 slide to 7 on the fourth. Then the open E string. So you have. And then you let the E note ring. You play a G bass. Okay, so. Okay. And then you make sure you put your second finger on the G bass because then you need to play this. Okay, so you can do the whole chord. So. Okay. It's two, three, two, zero. Hammer on, double pull off on the E string. You can again play it as a chord. Okay, with the strings two and three. So, and then three, two on the second string. Okay, this kind of gives it a Lydian feel because it's a sharp eleven. Okay, which uh, which gives it that uh, exotic sound. So, um, okay, so. Okay, it's 4-2 on the 3rd string and then 3 with the F-sharp bass, 2 on the 6th string. I play it with my thumb. Don't know why, just more convenient than to stretch my tendons just to play this, okay? This doesn't stretch uh, the tendons at all. So, okay, this is kind of a jazzy thing. Okay, so okay, so it's okay, just go going back to the F sharp, but with that sharp eleven before that, it gives it that exotic sound. So it's all a matter of context. And then after we play three and two on strings three and uh, six, okay, the F sharp major third, uh, an octave up, of course, um, it's this. Okay, it's four slide to five on the fourth and five slide to four on the fifth. Okay, so you can do it, um, you can do this. Okay, and play the F sharp bass at the end, right after the slide. Okay, or twice. Okay, or even zero two on the sixth string. Okay, to create a bass move if you want. Um, and then you have this. Okay, it's four five on the fifth. Four uh, five four on the fourth. Okay, hammer on pull off. And then five four on the fifth. G chord head two and three on strings five and six. And then okay, and then. Uh, utilize your little finger on the fifth string for five four two four five four okay so you have okay and then you have okay it's two four two zero on the fifth string hammer on double pull off and then two pull off to zero again and then 3-2 on the 6th string, going back to F sharp, and you start the verse. So the whole guitar intro. Remember, keep cranking. And then... And you bar the 2nd fret and you put three on the third string, and you play, okay? Two and three on strings two and three, 
three times, and then you have um, you have these two notes going up and down. Okay, to three and four, and then two and three twice. Okay, you can let go of the bass and then play it again. Okay, or you can use two fingers. Okay, or you can play the whole chord. Okay, with the bass. It all sounds fine to me, uh, so you choose the best option. Um, and then you have a G chord. Just the open second string twice, and then you play the G chord with the second string, and you continue playing it. Okay, and you want to keep the staccato sound. You want to keep the silence in between the notes. You want to keep short notes. Okay, and you can do two, three on the bass anytime you like. Okay, and then the open E string, and then you go back to F sharp, and it's the same line. And then it's the same G line, but instead of going on with open second strings, zero, two, zero. That's it. Open second string twice again, and then you play A. You play an A chord, you can bar for it, you can play with your fingers, and uh, play strings three and four on two twice, with the bass, of course, with the open fifth string. Okay, and then you just, again, play a staccato line, just hint at the harmony, and then, a C chord head, two and three on strings four and five, and then two, two on the third. Okay, this is a D chord, two, four, five on strings three, four, five. Okay, uh, this is out of the uh, C shape. Okay, the C, the, the C shape bar. Okay, so C, two, two on the third, and D, and then two on the third again, and then that A5 again. Okay, so to recap, F sharp. Okay, and then just G. And then F sharp again. This is G again. Okay, it's all very, very simple. The secret here is the rhythm. You want to do it. Bum. Okay, just to keep it silent and just give flashes of the harmony. Okay, and and then A, C, D, A. Okay, you can you can do muted strings as well. Okay, so I'm gonna give an example. You have the chorus. Okay, it's an E chord. Okay, so it's the open E string twice and then the E chord. And then it's the open E string again and then 3 3 on the second, making it E7 for a moment. Okay, so it's. Okay, you can vibrate with your little finger. And then. Slide to 5-5 five, five on the E string, and then two pull off the zero on the E string with A, and then you can play the chord. Then it's three on the second string, open E string twice. So I slide into it. Okay, you can do. Okay, you can do it just three on the second string and then the open E string twice. Okay, you can variate on this. And then you have F sharp again. You start by 2 2 on the E string and then the chord. Okay, so it's 2 2 2 2 on the E string twice before the chord. Okay, then you have the G bass and then. Okay, 3 3 3 on the E string with the chord and then 
seven on the second string, and then you take it back to F sharp, okay, with a bar on two, three on the third string, three pull off to two on the first string, okay, so it's, okay, it's this, okay, practice this. Then you have the third verse, okay, you can play the first verse twice, you're supposed to, that's how it goes in the original song. And then you have the last verse, okay, which is F sharp, okay, you're still on the F sharp, so it's the high F sharp note, okay, just the E string, and then, okay, three, two on the E string again, five on the B string, two on the E string. And then two, two again on the E string, and then moving up to G, three, three. And then 5-3, five, 5-3 three, five, three on the E string. You can pull it off. And then, okay, 7-5, you can slide on the E string. And then you have the F sharp again, the same line. Okay, F sharp and G, exactly the same. Then you have A. Okay, you can go to... Okay, you can go to the bar shape, just five, 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 five. Okay, I don't know why I played it like this. Okay, I played it with my little finger on five, with a bar on two, for an open A shape. Doesn't make any difference. Okay, or just a little difference in voice things, but it's not that big of a difference anyway. So you do whatever you want to do. Then you have this line. Okay, so. You can use your finger on eight on the bass or your thumb, and then ten and nine on strings two and three, and then you take it up two frets to uh, to twelve and eleven on strings two and three with the D string, okay, and then it's ten and eleven, okay, so it's ten and nine C bass eight on the bass, ten and nine, twelve and eleven with D. And then 10 and 11, then you go here. Okay? It's A, it's 5, 5, 6 on strings 1, 2, and 3, with 7 pull off to 5 on the, uh, on the first string. Okay, with A. So it's C, D, and then A. And then you have E, A, feed your head. Okay, just an E chord any way you want to play it. Seven, nine, nine on strings, one, two, and three with the E bass. And then you have the A line again. And then again. Okay, and you can do a dramatic finish if you like. So, download the tab for free from the website. The link is below in the description. The tab is free. Check out my courses, the Complete Guitar Freedom Guitar Course Series while you're there. And um, in the description, right above the tablature link, you'll find the Patreon link. Uh, and um, I'm very grateful for all my patrons. And I invite you to join them and help me uh, produce more lessons. Uh, every little uh, donation uh, and pledge counts. So thank you very, very, very much uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, for watching this and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.